Hello and welcome to Skydive Dubai. Hi. We're minutes away from jumping out of a plane. How are you feeling right I'm now? I'm nervous, super nervous, but I'm excited. Is this your first time? My first time. Definitely a little bit scared then. <laughs> did you meet your instructor? I did, Cody, yes, I met him. And he's explained everything? Everything. No questions? No questions. I love it. Anything you want to say to the friends and family back home? I'm turning 30 tomorrow, so I'm excited to jump from the most beautiful place to jump from, so I'm excited. That sounds an amazing plan, all right? <laughs> Happy birthday for tomorrow. Thank you. I'll see you on the plane. Hey. hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karima and I am powered by power. I'm so excited to share this video with you guys. I went skydiving for my 30th birthday and I'm taking you guys along with me finally sharing this experience with you guys. So please make sure you stay tuned to the end to see the actual jump. Let's get into this video. <laughs> Definitely taking a taxi next time. Today I'm just gonna be boring and hopefully, um. The date that I want and the time that I want is available still. This man probably looking at us like we're crazy. Like, where are you coming from? Hello. Hello. Can we go in and pay for skydiving? It's closed? Like for today or in general? Why? But can we pay for it for another day? Like we don't want to do it today, we want to do it Friday. Well, it was people that just came from inside. Yeah. And I can ask? Okay, thank you. I was about to be livid. Cause I'm sweating and I don't even sweat. I don't sweat and I'm sweating. All right, let's see what they're saying inside. So, that was touch and go for a while because First they was letting us in as we saw, and then we got in and she was just like, um, you gotta pay online. I'm like, oh, we tried that. That's why we're here in person. And then she talked to somebody else and then we went to her. So we were able to book it for tomorrow instead of my actual birthday, which is, because we want to go to Abu Dhabi on Friday. So we had to change it to tomorrow at 11.15. And then um, we're going to have to change our PCR test as well because we already booked it for 12 tomorrow. And so I'm jumping tomorrow at 11.15. So I got to change that. And so instead of a beach relax day tomorrow like we originally planned, I'm jumping out the sky. So there's that. Um, so tomorrow at 11.15 there's a jump and then we'll spend the rest of the day on the beach because the beach is right here. So, <laughs> bowling. <laughs> so that's the plan. You know, just gotta go with the flow and things happen. But I'm jumping out the sky tomorrow. I'm trying to kind of not walk outside right now because it feels amazing in here and it's hot outside. It's a nice breeze, but it's still hot. And it's like, like I'm saying, foggy or whatever it is. Like, I don't know what kind, like how to describe this weather. But it's hot and fuck. But apparently it gets worse in the summer months. Like, 
June, July. It's like ridiculous out here. So we came at the perfect time. But I'm gonna go tinkle. And then we're gonna try to find the metro and take that down to the City of Gold. Come back to the mall. Cause right now it is 1.35. And so we have tickets to go to the top of the bridge we leave at six. So I'm hoping that we can do all of the things that we want to do in time. We got to see how long it takes to get all the way down because we're taking the, the metro all the way down to see it go. Even though it's probably shorter because we walked a decent amount, like at least three miles to get here. So yeah, this is where I'll be tomorrow. It is the last day of my 20s and I <clears throat> can't even talk. I can't even talk. I'm on my way to skydive and I'm not even gonna front. I'm nervous. I mean, I've done bungee jumping before. Yes, I know that. But I feel like this is higher one and I'm just falling out of the sky. Like I was attached to something with bungee jumping, even though that was like really scary too, especially with the, like every time the rope kind of like expanded and then let go and then stretched and then like, that was a lot. But with skydiving, I don't know, I don't know what to expect. I've never even done iFly. I feel like if I wouldn't, if I would have done iFly, I would kind of like be ready for this, but I don't know what to expect. But I'm headed there now, I just finished eating breakfast. And I really didn't even eat as much as I usually do because I think my nerves are just like, so we'll see. Um, I didn't really plan an outfit for this. The outfit that I planned I couldn't wear because she told me that I have to wear like leggings and like something to cover my shoulders because of the harness. So I look a little crazy. But I made it work. I made it work. Thank goodness I packed for everything. So I had these like, um, I don't even know, like capri legging thingies that um, I've had for the longest that I've planned on wearing for like bed or going real quick downstairs or something like that. And I plan on wearing this out of the hotel. Um, and my Just Got t shirt, which I'm going to need because. I'm jumping out of the sky. I'm jumping out of the sky. So, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to try to get as much footage as possible and vlog a little bit more today. I'm doing better. Yesterday I vlogged a lot. So, today I'm going to try to vlog after I skydive. I'm going to go just sit on the beach and get in that water because the water was amazing yesterday. So, I'm going to get in the water and have my bathing suit on underneath this. Um, so, after the skydiving, it's just the beach, and then most likely tonight, I'm probably gonna go to dinner or something. Okay. Thank you. Quick. Now we can walk over to the skydiving place. Have a good day. Yesterday they canceled mad people, so 
Your amount is 700, yes? Yes. Okay. The amount I give you 2,552 is here. Okay. Okay. 700 is 65. This is the amount. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
my body. I was able to leave the um, sad having place and I thought that I would have to walk the whole journey again to find some place to get uh, to exchange money but this nice man came in his Lexus right outside taxi yes and he took me to the closest um, exchange I looked one up in Google, on Google inside with the, the security lady and um, that was too far so he took me to the closest one so now I'm on my way back they said they're getting away from me I just like changed the money and set aside the money it took me forever to kind of figure out what was going on even though I'm a math teacher don't judge me don't judge me because I looked I was like wait I don't even think I have enough but I have enough and um, he's charging me a hundred dirham to come here and back so that's like twenty seven dollars ish but it's okay um now I'm going I'm heading back so <sighs> I'm still skydiving today I'm skydiving today I'm skydiving Four digit code, <laughs> hash key, hashtag, everything in the locker, and you're gonna take a seat on that bench over there and see that area close to the TV. That is the location the instructor is gonna be looking for you guys to prepare you and do the final training for your jump. Everything happened down there. If you're not there when he calls your name, guess what? You're not gonna jump. You're gonna miss a jump, and I'm gonna keep your to prepare you for your tandem skydive. Before you skydive, be sure to secure all personal belongings, handheld cameras, or phones if they are not permitted on the aircraft. Be sure to safely store them before you go in the lockers provided. You will be fitted with a student harness. The harness is very similar to that worn by your instructor. It is secured to the parachute with four attachment points. Two upper attachments located at the shoulders and two lower attachments located at the hips. The tandem parachute is specifically designed to carry two people. It consists of two parachutes, a main parachute and a backup reserve parachute. The system also contains an automatic activation device, or AAD, which can deploy the reserve if the instructor is unable. Once fitted, the lower portion of the harness should fit much like the climbing harness. The chest strap in the upper portion of the harness should fit snug, but not tight. It's important not to make any changes or adjustments to the harness. You will sit on his or her legs or on the bench between them. Your instructor will secure each attachment of your harness to the parachute system and conduct a final safety check. Prior to jumping, your instructor will give you goggles to wear. Make sure they fit tight and are placed low on the nose. Your instructor will help ensure your goggles fit appropriately. When it's your turn to exit, your videographer will climb out first to capture video of you and your instructor preparing to exit. As you move into position in the door, you should stay low and take hold of your harness. Be sure to keep your head back towards your instructor's shoulder. 
This will keep your head high as you exit, which promotes a good body position. Once in position, your instructor will signal to your videographer, ready, set, go. On go, your instructor will guide the two of you out of the aircraft. As you feel yourself exiting the aircraft, you should arch your body by pushing your hips forward. This is the arched body position. Legs and roll your harness. Your arms should be straight out to your sides and elbows bent. This is the first body position. The skydiver is meant to fly and provides a great level of control and stability. While in free fall, your videographer will be flying in front of you to capture video and photos of your experience. So be sure to smile and look towards your videographer from time to time. Once you reach 5,500 feet, your instructor will then deploy the parachute. As you approach the landing area, your instructor will remind you to lift your legs when you hear legs up. It is important that when you hear legs up, you place your feet and knees together, bend your knees, and lift your feet forward in front of you. Your legs are Tell me about it, how was that? Amazing, amazing. I felt like I was flying, obviously, because I was. But that was like the most amazing experience. And then the way down, Cody told me how to fly the parachute. It was over the palm. It was amazing, amazing. 10 out of 10, gotta do it. Um, thank you, Skydive Dubai. Oh, Th Thank shoot. you so much, we'll see you next Woo. time. <laughs> Thank you.